Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's review of the Krieger RSD Rome 34 Rucksack. Krieger know how to make backpacks and Roland Sands knows how to make stylish kit. If you put the two together, then you have perhaps the coolest bike backpack around. The RSD Rome 34 is made from a mix of Krieger's 1000 Denier Cordura and Roland Sands' own wax cotton material to add a completely new look to a relatively familiar Krieger design. The Rome 34 is based on Krieger's Max 28, but with more room and the added style that comes from a collaboration with the famed Californian custom builder and ex-racer. There are three key parts to the bag. There's a main compartment that's got a roll top waterproof section within there, a storage pocket on the front of that, and then a fleece lined outside pocket for your bits and bobs. The main section's got a capacity of 22 litres in standard trim, but opening up an expansion zip around the edge takes that out to 30 litres. That gives you enough room to store a full face helmet in there. The waterproof section within that area is big enough for a 15 inch laptop. The maximum size that will go in there is 360 millimetres by 245 mil. You roll over the top, clip it up, and then no water's getting inside there to get anything wet. You can also stash a hydration pack in that main compartment. There's a Velcro loop inside to hold the pack in place and then a gap where the shoulder strap feeds into the bag that lets you route the drinking tube through there so you can get water as you ride. Over the front of that is a compartment with loads of organiser pockets within that give you room for things like pens, tyre pressure gauges, notepads and small items like that. And that contributes another four litres of storage, which makes a total of 26 litres in normal configuration or 34 litres when the main compartment is expanded. Now the last pocket that comes into play is here. When you fold over the final closure and click shut these very neat quick release buckles, you get a fleece lined pocket here, which gives you a good home for goggles or other bits and bobs that you don't want to get scratched. Now with the bag filled in standard trim, it's 460 millimeters tall, 280 wide, and then 180 millimeters deep. If you expand it, the width and height stay the same, but the depth increases to 260 mil. Okay, so that's the storage covered. Let's have a look at how you wear the bag. The Rome RSD34 uses Krieger's tried and tested quad lock light harness. It gives you a huge amount of room to get your arms through the straps, and then it clicks shut with one buckle that goes across your sternum. This then spreads the load from the bag across your chest rather than focusing it on your shoulders and causing aches as you ride. The harness is adjustable to suit different heights of rider. It comes as standard in the setting for a medium sized rider, you can see that because you've got two discrete dots showing on the strap here where it feeds through the slider. Taller riders should adjust the straps until there are three dots in that slider and then shorter riders will want one dot showing. The harness has various mounting points on it as well which lets you attach a range of different Krieger accessories on there to give you easy access to your storage. There's an additional waist belt as well which clicks shut with another neat buckle across the front. That's optional and it tucks away into pouches, zip up pouches on either side of the bag if you don't want to use that waist strap. And you don't have to use this as a backpack at all if you've got a rack or a sissy bar on your bike. There's a strap across the padded back section that lets you clip the bag securely to your bike and ride without any weight on your back at all. Now I've spent a couple of hundred miles out and about with this bag and I've been very impressed with it. Even without expanding the main compartment, I was able to pack in the essentials that I think I'd need for a couple of days away and it easily swallowed my commuting kit, things like shoes, jeans, lunch and my laptop. The bag itself weighs just under two kilos when it's empty and I loaded it with around four kilos of stuff and I didn't suffer any aches while riding with it like that. The bag felt stable on my back at all times, though I felt it needed the additional security of the waist belt when I had it loaded up with a total weight of around six kilos. The waterproof section gives confidence that electronics are gonna survive bad weather and this bag has enough sections and tuckaways to please someone who's way more organized than I'll ever be. The fact it gives a very different aesthetic compared to other Krieger bags also brings something new to the equation. Krieger's regular range has a very technical appearance, whereas this is much more casual. The wax cotton material will also weather with age and it'll take on a unique look as time passes. But you still get the practical benefit of the regular Krieger 10 year warranty. In our experience, Krieger's backup, if something does go wrong with a product, is about the best around. Now, the bit that people always know is coming when we review Krieger kit, the price. This bag costs £235 as we record this, which is at the back end of 2023. That is a lot of money for a bike rucksack, but you get a hell of a lot in return for that outlay. Krieger bags are for people who don't want to compromise on quality. They're not cheap, but the quality is very, very high. 
We made a video all about this where we looked into the price of Krieger's bags and whether they're worth the outlay. We looked at it from all angles. If you want more info on that, there's a link popping up at the end of this video or you'll find it in the description below. But if you're taken with the look of this bag and you want something that will carry a good amount of stuff, especially when expanded and will keep it stable on your back, then the Rome 34 bag would be an excellent choice. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Krieger Rome 34 RSD backpack. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.